Okay, so one thing that I did off camera, I just put some uh, blue masking tape. That's just what I had kicking around on uh, all four edges of this uh, welding lens. And then I also kind of made a little tab right there, something, to, something for me to grab on so that I can lift the lens out of the way and, and position the camera and all that. So this little device uh, is done for now. We may have to tweak on it a little bit uh, in the future, but for right now, we, uh, we gotta test it out. So again, we're using uh, the JVC that I'm filming on right now. GoPro Hero 3 Silver. And then iPhone 6. And I've already gone ahead uh, and I've made up uh, some coupons. This is just uh, 1 8 inch 1018 mild steel. We've already gone ahead and tacked it up in the corners. This one's, uh, I don't know, 2 and 3 quarters of an inch long. We've got three of these made up. These two are just 2 inches long. This was literally all the 8 inch material that I had. It was flat bar, 1 and a half inch wide flat bar. Slid it down the middle to 3 quarter inch and then just made up these little coupons. So we've got some 1018 mild steel. We're going to test uh, the uh, camera box on both steel and aluminum. And then I got some aluminum coupons right here tacked up. This was about a two inch piece of 5052 uh, aluminum uh, I had laying around. Uh, slid it down the middle one inch wide and then lopped these. These are about two and a half inches uh, in length. And I figured that's uh, plenty of uh, material. One for the camera to actually focus and two to actually uh, to get a good shot. Uh, but that's just a guess so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and basically I have uh, six joints to weld because I can flip these over and weld this other joint as well. So six, six joints of each uh, material to weld. So I've got a fresh sharp tungsten in the torch and I'm gonna start with the 1018 mild steel. Okay, well I'm getting set up for the shot here. This isn't uh, in final position yet. I've just got it mounted to a, an extendable, adjustable tripod. It's a really old tripod actually that my dad gave me. Uh, this thing is right in your business. If you wanna get a good arc shot like Jody, like I'm assuming uh, Jody gets, he's never shown uh, his, uh, his setup like this, although we've all seen the arc shots. Uh, yeah, this thing's right in, your, right in your business. I mean, I've got my foot pedal over here. I'm basically straddling it. Get the torch involved. It's kind of, you know, I'm going to have to be looking around the side of it like this. But I think I can make that joint without bumping into the, into the camera or the tripod or anything like that. So, let's give it a shot. Turn the machine on. First test, iPhone 6. Okay. I'm starting with this one first. One, because I need to practice. I need to make sure that I can get a good bead. That I can get a good angle and I can basically make a good weld with all this in my way. And uh, I have the least faith in video quality on the iPhone 6. I just, I'm not sure it's going to be able to focus uh, properly. But, that's why we're doing the test. So let me gear up and we'll uh, try to make an arc shot. So starting off with the iPhone 6, you can see there, it stumbles getting focused for just about one second. But other than that, it's doing real well. Now I have not zoomed in using the phone or anything like that. This is, if you open your camera app, flip it to video, this is the angle that you're gonna get. So it's it's doing real well. This is this is far better than I thought the, the phone was gonna do. Now this clip here, it's exactly the same as the previous clip, uh, but I've done some post-processing. Uh, I've cropped it, I use iMovie. It's the standard video editing software on uh, Apple products. And the, the cropping or zooming or magnific magnification, whatever you want to call it or whatever your software calls it, it seems to help a lot. You get a lot more detail. Uh, I think the lens 
that I was using, the number 10 could be a little bit darker. Go to a number 11 or a number 12. And then this clip right here, this is sped up. Uh, it's about 300% sped up, but I just wanted to show you uh, how much I had to work around that uh, arc shots box uh, just to get a weld done. Okay, next coupon, next camera. GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition. I'm probably gonna have to set this up on uh, some kind of little space where I got this little circle of wood I'm gonna set this up on. Alright, so let me start that recording, gear up, and uh, we'll test out the GoPro. Alright, now I'm testing the GoPro Hero 3. The most obvious problem here is the glare that you can see uh, to the left side of the screen. Uh, that was ultraviolet light coming in through the back of the Arc Shots box, basically reflecting off my shirt or that. Uh, installation that I have on the garage door uh, but the still the video quality is not that great and my GoPro has no ability to really zoom uh, I just have basically a wide or a medium width uh, viewing angle now just like with the iPhone the previous clips that we just saw this is cropped this is zoomed in now one thing I got that glare out of this shot but the clarity here it's not this it's just not as good uh as the iphone did now i'm wondering if maybe that has something to do with the glare i don't know um but the clarity of this shot is just not the same uh as the iphone and uh it's a little disappointing i thought the gopro was going to do better than this okay last camera to check just my simple little JVC handy cam kind of thing. I'm not even sure what the model number is, but uh, we'll stick it in there and see how it works. See what kind of a film quality we get out of it. All right, testing the JVC. I'm just getting my shot focused in uh, where I need it to be. Stumbles like the iPhone. Stumbles in the beginning, getting focused. But after that, once it focuses in, uh, the clarity is awesome. This camera did the best out of all three that I tested. You can actually see the little cut marks from the bandsaw uh, on that little edge of the steel there. Still a little bright. Maybe a, a darker lens uh, would help this out. Now again, you can see a theme here. This is the exact same shot that we just watched, uh, but I cropped it. I zoomed it in, and uh, zooming it, it didn't degrade the video quality or anything like that. You can see those uh, little striations, those cut marks even better. Still a little bright. Uh, I, I do think uh, a darker lens uh, would help this out. All right, I've switched over to aluminum. Uh, I still have the JVC uh, in the box just because the last one I did was the steel uh, with the JVC. So we're just gonna go in backwards order, uh, starting with the JVC on uh, 5052 aluminum, 80,000 thick, and running 185, or I'm sorry, just 85 amps. Let's see, make sure. Yeah, I'm on DC, I'm sorry, AC. Yes, I'm on AC. And one sixteenth inch uh, forty forty three filler rod. Okay, now we're starting with our aluminum coupons. I'm just getting the the arc shots box with the JVC uh, centered up on the shot where I want it. Now you can see it on aluminum or with the arc on uh, alternating current, it takes just a little longer to focus, about a second, second and a half longer uh, than it did with uh, welding on DC. Still kind of bright, um, still could probably benefit from a darker lens. 
I think I could probably use for this 80,000 thick. I was using a 330 seconds electrode. I think I should probably drop down to a 116. Once again, same shot as we just saw, just cropped, zoomed in. But the JVC, it, it it clearly does, at least in my opinion, I think it's pretty clear that it has the best video quality filming through a welding lens. The iPhone 6 did well, uh, GoPro not so much, uh, but the JVC seems to be doing pretty darn well. All right, back at it with the uh, GoPro Hero 3. So, we'll get this set up in here. All right, back at it with the GoPro on aluminum now. Now, it doesn't seem to have the focusing issues that the other two cameras had. Uh, but then again, the, the, the video is not that clear and uh, it may just be out of focus for the entire shot. I'm not quite sure. The GoPro works well for everything else except filming through a lens. Now, I'm, I've recorded all of this video in 1080p, so it's the highest quality resolution that that camera, that my camera can produce. So cropping it, uh, as far as getting a tighter shot, that's about the only way that you can do it, at least with my camera. If you have a, a more modern uh, Hero 4, and I believe it's specifically the Hero 4 Black Edition, you do have the ability to film with a narrow field of view. On the Hero 3, it's basically wide or medium. I think they call refer to medium as standard. But again, it's it, it does great for every other kind of filming, except through a welding lens. So... Again, kind of disappointed with this camera. All right, last test. Go back to the uh, iPhone 6. Okay, last two arc shots of this video. You can see the iPhone, it was focused there right at the beginning, and then it lost it. Now it's going to be a couple more seconds before it really gets a good clear focus. It's going to kind of see it's trying to figure it out, kind of coming in and out. I'm not sure why the focus was so much worse on aluminum than it was on steel. My guess it's the uh, characteristics of the arc uh, between DC and AC. Uh, that would be my best guess so far. Again, we get pretty good focus right there at the beginning and then we lose it. So, but for this, for this video, I wanted to show the whole arc from the time I strike the arc to the time I finish the arc. For later videos, I could certainly start the video here where the focus is nice and clear, do some editing and things like that. But like I said, for this video, uh, I wanted to show the entire thing, the sort of test and tune of the cameras. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So uh, we'll start with the three surprises. First surprise. Uh, Home Depot aluminum sucks. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, unless you're going to be using it to uh, with a mechanical fastener, a nut and bolt, a rivet, anything like that, if you're going to be welding with it, don't. Just, I mean, don't waste your time unless it's Saturday evening and you don't want to wait till Monday to go to the metal store and, and pick up some more material. Uh, but just be forewarned, it sucks. Uh, so that was first surprise. Second surprise iPhone did a lot better than I was expecting. Uh, I was afraid it was going to have focus issues, and as you saw earlier in the footage, uh, it, it stumbles a little bit right when the arc starts, uh, but once the arc is stabilized and I'm kind of trucking along with that weld, it focused real well, so I was, I was happy with that. The third surprise and the disappointing one was the GoPro did not do as well as I had anticipated. Uh, I filmed everything that you've seen thus far at uh, 1080, 30 frames per second. Now there's this one clip I'm going to show you right now 
where I switched the camera to film 960 still at 30 frames per second and that wasn't any better mainly because it gave such a wide angle. Uh, GoPros are sort of known for their wide angle uh, view capabilities but it doesn't help in this situation so that was a little bit disappointing. One because I was hoping that the, that the GoPro would work well so that I could make another box that was smaller than this. But since I'm probably not going to be using the GoPro for that type of filming, uh, I'm just going to stick with the box that I got because that's what is required to fit the iPhone 6. And this is just a 6. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. It's the regular iPhone 6, not the 6 Plus gigantic phablet kind of thing. Uh, and then the JVC that I'm filming on right now did real well. The ability to have that optical zoom uh, helped out a lot. So either for doing arc shots, I'm either going to be using my phone or the JVC. Uh, tweaks to the box, box itself. One, you can switch lenses, drop down to a number 9, go up to a, an 11 or 12. Uh, also, during the filming, since I was able to watch uh, the footage right after I took it, whether it be uh, used from the phone or from the GoPro using the GoPro app, I could watch all the footage, same with the JVC. I noticed that there was a lot of glare coming into the back side of the arc shots box uh, from the welding and that was a lot due to one I've got this insulation back here with this little aluminum covering the shiny covering and I was wearing a white shirt so I was actually getting a lot of reflection of the light into my mask too so for all the for all the filming that I did for this video not all uh, but after I noticed the glare. I just took this nasty old shop rag, draped it over the back, and that seemed to help a lot. So future modification of this box, I've got some old black t-shirts that quite frankly I just got too fat to wear, so I'm gonna cut those up and get a nice piece of material and glue it on here or fasten it on here somehow so that I've got a little curtain, a nice black curtain uh, to get that reflective light uh, out of the shot because it did kind of mess up uh, the filming just a little bit. So uh, this, you know, like I said, I'd like to make a smaller box, but I think this is just the size that it's going to have to be uh, to fit the phone and the JVC. Um, my intent for making this box was not to do how-to videos, how to weld, uh, similar to what Jody does and uh, several others. I, in my opinion, I think Jody does the best work. He really seems to have that market cornered on the how to weld videos. Number one reason is I'm not nearly as good as he is. I'm not a very good welder and I'm certainly not as knowledgeable about welding as he is. Second, this thing, it's, I mean, it, it's bulky, it's cumbersome and it's in your way. I mean, you saw how I had to kind of look off to the side to be able to weld. I envision this being used in my videos, maybe up here, mounted to the little stumpy tripod, maybe over here to one of my other tripods. Something out of the way so that what I'm working on right here, I can focus on that and do the best job I can on the part that I'm working on and be able to film it. And probably won't get the best arc shot. You probably won't be able to see what's happening right uh, at the puddle, kind of the things that you would need to learn about. But like I said, I'm not doing it. it these aren't instructional videos for how to weld. So it's going to work real well for my uh, purposes. So I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. If uh, if you'd like, I'll, I would appreciate it if you'd go to my Facebook page. I have all the pictures. Anything that I made a video on, I've got all the photos that I took posted uh, on my Facebook page, whether it's the Arc Shots box, the C10 truck out here in the driveway, my friend's shovelhead chopper project that we've been working on, all the past projects everything. All the photos are on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash milkcrate82. I'm also on Instagram. I don't post as many pictures. I don't post all the pictures that I take to Instagram. Uh, I just pick you know, the best one or two or three and post those. So I don't flood Instagram with uh, a lot of photos, but all the photos uh, and old videos, new videos uh, are all posted to Facebook. So I think that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I appreciate your support. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs>